Welcome back. I guess we are playing this again. To cool spot. To cool spot. To cool lose. Cause it's cool to lose at video. No, it's not. Fucking video games are expensive. I don't remember how much. Well, I don't remember how much video games for the Sega retailed for. I don't remember either. I, I can't. I, I can't remember. There how was much. a chart one time. I think it was on like the Escapist. Yeah. And I th it really wasn't that different from now. Really? Well, I mean, now I think it was maybe a twenty-three dollar difference for games, but well, consoles still, were just as expensive. I know consoles were just as expensive. Do you know that the original, uh, the ColecoVision, like eighteen hundred or some shit like that? It was three hundred dollars. No, it was up in like eights and nines. Really? When it first, yes, I am dead fucking serious. Okay. That shit was on the Escapist. Are that, 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 that was Let's crazy. ask Siri. Hang on, hang on. Siri, how much was the original ColecoVision? Let's see what she has to say. Checking. Here's what I found on the web for how much was the original ColecoVision. Coleco. Alright, alright. I'm going to Wikipedia right now. Okay. While Brian kills this. <laughs> okay. Best selling game for it was Donkey Kong. Okay. Uh, 145 titles in total. History. There we go. What was it retail? Uh, well, it was fucking. Was it super expensive? <coughs> um, it's not saying it sold more than five hundred thousand units. Um, smartphones. Their only use is to try to prove your friends wrong. <laughs> I know that's really what they're for. I do hate that shit, though. You say something. And then somebody wants to like, immediately get on. Excuse me, let me check. And then, like, throw you right I, under the bus about what you're talking about. I have my smartphone to make you feel like an asshole. Retail avail availability. No. How much the fuck was you? Uh. I don't like this shit. Well, now they're about 250, 250 bucks on eBay. Really? 225. Launch price unknown. Oh. Nobody knows. Okay. Well, it was it was one of those older fucking systems. But yes, I'm sorry. Continue. I thought it was the Coleco. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll I'll I'll, I'll call myself out if I'm wrong. That's cool. But most games back then were between thirty and forty five dollars. Uh, somebody says the original the. For their original Atari 2600, they paid about 250 bucks. Okay. And then... I remember reading that one of them old-ass consoles, I thought it was Coleco, was <coughs> crazy expensive. Um, Did you ever play a 3DO? A 3DO? Yeah, remember that? Fuck no, I've never played a 3DO. God. Did I anyone even have a 3DO? I don't know of anybody that did. I was curious, though. I know they were a thing. I don't yeah. even know games for them. I don't... Shit. That was like around the same time as uh, Sega and shit, right? Um, I think it was at the dawn of like the Saturn. Uh, and like the PlayStation coming out. No. No? Well. I thought it was. Well, uh, there was a... Wasn't it rivaling like the Saturn in that? Well, the console... The, um, shit. Or the 3DO's original price was $699. Yeah, that's pretty fucking expensive. Um, Ow, fucker. The launch of the console was 1993. And then, uh... That was it. Yeah, I didn't know anyone with a 3DO. Holy shit, I'm surprised you mentioned it. I just remembered it, and I thought, I wonder if you played it. But then it became... I know it became the... 3DO became a fucking developer. Well, like, I know Shreff has, like, a, has some obscure fucking consoles and shit. Well, he never had a... I don't think he had a 3DO. Like, you know, he never had a, uh... What's that? 32X? I know he didn't have one of those either. Oh, 32X. Yeah. What the fuck level are we on right now? Uh, oh, you're in the wall, I think. Oh. There's little mouses with pajamas. Dude, I'm immediately reminded of that level in South Park. Where you're in... Oh, chasing yeah. the underpants gnomes and your parents are having sex in the background. If you have not played the South Park RPG, Stick of Truth, is Stick of Truth, good. it is fucking phenomenal. It really I, is. If you're a fan of the show, 
it's just great. If you're a you, fan of RPGs, it's pretty damn good too. The nice thing about if you are a fan of the show, you can take a good half an hour, forty five minutes, mm -hmm. just walking around the town and looking at all the fucking yeah. things they did because they took some time. Yeah, they did. Mm. And what I liked about it is it ended, like the game pretty much ended. Like, there's not a need for, like, multiple yeah. fucking sequels and shit. Like, every fucking game nowadays. Yeah, because they were begging them for uh, DLC, and they're like, no, it's done. Yeah, they didn't They didn't need any. This was the game we wanted. The game's done. We don't want to do it again. Like... They said, we don't want to ruin what we have. Yeah. And that's one thing I just don't fucking understand. Like, every year we have new Assassin's Creed. Every year we have, like, for a long time, new fucking Gears of War. We have a new fucking Call of Duty... Uh, Battlefield and fucking uh, what's that other one? Uh, I hate when people that play fucking Call of Duty and they're like, yeah, I just can't get in the Pokemon. It's the same goddamn game every time. Are you fucking? You have every Call of Duty. Yeah. What what the fuck do you mean? It looks repetitive. You morons. Yeah. Well, all the Pokemon <laughs> games are pretty much the same every time too. They add just a new gimmick though. Yeah, but I'm saying. You can't say that you can't say you don't like games that are repetitive and do the same thing and then own every Call of Duty. Uh, yeah. At least you get to shoot down their cheeses that they throw. Yeah. Their cheeses. Their mouse cheeses. Their little jammies. Oh, yeah, they're wearing little pajamas. Oh, that's so cute. Little Rickies, like blow them up. You're getting well. We let's talk about rodents for a moment. Oh, uh, the poor passing of Kiko Chan. Pat, Kiko San. Passed Kikicho, away. Kikicho-san. Yes. Kikicho-san! He passed away. Found his paperwork. He was three when we got him. He lived for six years. So he he lived to nine. Yep. That's a, that's a good age. That's, a, that's pretty damn impressive, because I didn't know they lived that fucking long. Uh, our old family chinchilla, Chili, lived till well, 10 or 11. Yeah, you said that one lived for a good while. Yeah. Oh, they help you. Yeah, but there was just a wall over there, so I'm just going to backtrack down now. Down now. Let's see if I can get a little room going. Ooh. Ow, fucker. Oh, they do hurt you. Yeah, well, you gotta hit them at the right angle, and they'll either fling you or hurt you. Oh, okay. There's some keys. If y'all mean. Um, but you're talking about getting rats now. Oh, yeah, we used to have rats. I know you, know you used to have rats. And Run, Odin, Khaki, God. Pepperjack, Cobalt. Dude, you had so many fucking rats. They're great pets. They're <clears throat> very nice. They're uh, affectionate. They love to be touched. They love to be held. And I, they're social animals. They like to be with you. They they're, like to, they creep me the fuck out. I'll be honest. Ah, oh, they're adorable. I, I, I know. It's the tail. People don't like the tail. There's nothing wrong with the tail. It's just a little fleshy. It just, it's fleshy. Well, yeah, you saw their tail. Well, I, I no never used the word fleshy to describe a rat tail. Well, yeah, it's fleshy. It's just bald with a couple of oh, scraggly so hairs gross. on it. So fucking gross. Unnecessary is what it is. It, it really. It does feel a little funny when they're on your shoulder and they're like, it, it's rubbing against your neck. Oh, but they love being on your shoulder. Oh, and if you're wearing a hoodie, they'll sleep in your hood. I remember a little hammock. This fucker had like five baby rats. Oh, dude, that was a litter of like thirteen. Oh, was it? Yeah. And the the mom ate like four of them. Yeah, she uh, Brandy Bell ate a lot bunch of them. Um, then there was Run. That dude filled a saucer. If you would have yeah, laid him, he was a him, big rat. His head was just fucking big. That's a shitty situation right there. Yeah, dude, you got that. Oh. I'm getting my cool spot skills back, son. You're getting your cool spot skills back? That's nothing to be proud of. <laughs> no, uh, I don't think being good at a very obscure fucking mascot game like this is something to be proud of, but I'm glad you're happy. Hey, baby, you want to see me beat cool spot? <laughs> what the fuck's a cool spot? Hey, mama, want to come back to my house, watch me play some cool spot? Um. Ow. I think that's... Are, are you straight? Y yeah. Oh, okay. Because that doesn't sound like something a straight guy would say. Well, what would a straight guy say? Uh, you want to come back and watch me play some Call of Duty and drink some Natty Ice? Ugh. Ugh. Like piss water. <laughs> yeah, that shit is disgusting. I don't even drink... I don't drink beer at all. I like a good lager. Yeah, I know you do. Good thick beer. It's good. Well, you yeah, got Pennsylvania. Like, I don't like Guinness, though. Guinness is gross. Like drinking Dude, fucking bread. Fucking... Yeah, dudes, oh. dudes in PA and they're fucking Guinness. Oh, well, PA is more Yingling. Yeah, we're more Yingling. I mean, if you come from you got PA, the, you well, you have the Yingling plant here in PA. Pottsville. Have you ever been there? No. Oh, I've seen it. I'd like to go. Like yeah. I've driven by it once or twice. You can take tours and shit. Yeah, I know. 
and you get to try like samples of all their older stuff, like the stuff they used to make and different stuff. And it's stuff like, that's been sitting around for a couple of years. I have I'm a just... fresh beer, like one, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, they have a restaurant there too. Really? Yeah. That'd be cool to hit. They have up. like it is. They have like uh, Yingling beer batter, f- uh, fish and chips. They have a uh, Yingling beer batter chicken. Let's also say something real quick. You only have a minute and twenty some seconds to finish this level. I know. I'm trying here. It's a long level. Yeah, I'm. I'm very surprised this level's still going. And I'm not seeing many clocks, so. No. Oh shit. Yeah, it might be time to just start. Puffing it. Puffing through. Maybe I have to go this way, let's see. Nope. Nope. The other way, yeah, go down. There you go. Well, the, the fucking thing did say go this way, the, the cool spot. Hey, hey, go back, go back, go back, keep going. There's your buddy. Yeah. My man, pots and pans. 46 seconds. <laughs> yeah. You ain't getting a time level bonus on this one. <laughs> Not at all. Wow. I'm afraid no's. Unused time. Nope. Challenge about it? Nope. Warding? Oh my god, right. this doesn't look fun. Oh, dude, it's a shitty water level platformer. You're in a bathtub. No, a kiddie pool. Wait, bathtub or kiddie pool? Something tells me Cool Spot doesn't know how to swim. Um, I think you'd be correct on that. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's in that background. Can you sh- Oh. That's a fucking uh, leap of faith. Way, oh. Alright. What we're gonna do is kill that frog, get to that next platform, and we're gonna pause it, like so, and we are going to end this episode in the pool. We will catch you next time here on... Let's lose. Slurp lose? <coughs> I was cooking coffee. You He's were drinking dick. coffee. I am a dick. <laughs>